to Spencer, to Kennedy, and to Zane and Jersey. So um, we are meeting second to last time. So we, there will be one more meeting next week. Uh, the assumption by this time is that everyone has submitted the written reports based on the, on the projects. The goal is to practice peer review. And uh, I'll give some instructions and then each of us will just sit and, and, and uh, uh, perform reviewing activities. So I'll, I'll give some uh, introduction and instruction for about 10 minutes. And then those who already got reviewing instructions will just start. Who haven't got, I'll process some late submissions and, and uh, distribute them to everyone. And uh, each review shouldn't take longer than uh, 10 minutes. So uh, basically, you can be done as soon as like 11.30, and then you can either leave or support your uh, classmates by sitting and maybe getting your reviews back and trying to implement them. Oh, Connor is here. Okay, thank you for joining me. So the... Um, Oh, and hello, August. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, nice to see you here. So, uh, it is a physical chemistry class. We, during the semester and labs, we got some skills uh, that are uh, to some extent applicable to real life and in research. And you are doing some uh, media research projects based on your interests. Uh, by mimicking the real life sensitivity you have completed reports and now by mimicking uh, the real scientific uh, life they are graded not by uh, instructor but by the peers or by uh, someone else experienced in, in the uh, in this activity so we we organize it as two like journal of optical electronics and um, you submit your works and then the editorial office will distribute like uh, the one by Connor and Kennedy to Journal of Optical Electronics. Um, the Zane, Jared and Spencer to Journal of Reactions. And uh, I would like to introduce the special guests and uh, editors of these journals. So, uh, Dr. Yung Khan and uh, PhD candidate Aaron Ford. So, uh, their word on the quality and assessment of your works will be deciding one, not mine. So, uh, your work should impress them. And um, um, I will just follow with what they recommend about uh, the quality. So, um, let me thank. Uh, Aaron and Yvonne for being here. Let's uh, thank you for your help and, and effort. And um, you have got the reviewing form. I'm going to review the review form, and uh, each of you will get at least two reviews. If you get less, it means that someone decided not to submit the report, which uh, would be very strange. I think everyone will get to. Um, if the author has submitted the work ahead of time, you will get a document where review form and the paper itself are merged into single document. If, uh, since we are limited in time, there are some late submissions, then reviewers are invited to merge the paper that you're reviewing with this document that you already put. So the uh, practice of a reviewer is to glance through the work, just read and get impression, 
uh, typically reviewers just read it. If you're really uh, willing to help without getting uh, special credit, you can edit something and type by red color, red font inside the paper. You may or may not, it is not required, but it is, it is allowed. But then after reading the paper, you are feeling the form. And uh, the uh, content of this form is approximately more from American Chemical Society. When in uh, big life, when you submit your paper to a journal, the editor is uh, sending you, uh, sending not to you, but to the uh, uh, reviewers your paper plus request to address several criteria. Um, so major goal of this uh, consideration is to make a decision which can be either published as is or reject, which would correspond like to A and F. But the most typical uh, things are published with um, major revision or minor revision, uh, meaning that there are some things that need to be improved before it can be offered to the broad community. And then um, uh, each reviewer is invited to there are about six uh, slides and two pages of all this very form. It doesn't mean that you need to type two pages right. It's like a couple of words or maybe a sentence. So first, after reading the paper, the reviewer uh, should try to summarize in one sentence what the paper is about. Uh, why it is needed? Because later on, these reviews are directed back to the author. And uh, humans may have a misunderstanding. The author should see how the reviewer is interpreting main idea of the author. And the editors as well, right? So, um, how you understand what is that? And uh, later on, you will, as authors, you will see what reviewers are writing. You will see that it is often different from what you were thinking about. So, it's like a kid's game of um, broken telephone when people are sitting in a row, whispering to the ear a sentence, and when, when it comes to the end of the row, it is completely uh, broken. Um, so each paper should have like, credentials, right? Uh, for introduction, there should be a big picture explaining who and why needs it, motivation. Are there any references? You can just type yes, no, and it will be assigned to, to the author, whether to add reference or, or it is fine as this. Um, each scientific work has some challenges. There are some, some uh, things that people before this author were not able to address or were lazy to address. So reviewer should see what author communicated as a challenge. Uh, as we were discussing last time, does author offer a hypothetical answer to this challenge in, in the introduction? And then uh, share the opinion if the paper is who, or whom it is targeted to, like uh, highly trained professionals, broad public uh, from the street, students from PCAM class or somewhere, somewhere else, because each message has a uh, target audience. So I think every work was done in this class has some figures and uh, reviewers please address the quality of figures. Like if um, after reprinting it in smaller size on the or or a poor quality printer, it will be still uh, communicating the message. If lines are thick, if the fonts are large, if one would recognize difference between lines, uh, like if there are colors, like if there is a green and, and uh, red line, after producing on black and uh, white zero, it will disappear. So it shouldn't be such big use. Uh, if there are figures without labels on the axis, uh, make it as a little critical comment to the, to the authors. And uh, each figure must contain figure caption, so that uh, a lazy reader can understand the meaning of the figure without reading the rest of the paper. So uh, some, I, I glance through what has been submitted, typically, 
you are writing maybe one uh, half line, it's fine to put much more, uh, a little story, like a sentence. And if you have critical uh, suggestions, any other critical suggestions about figures, please, please do. Uh, logic organization. Sometimes, and I, I fully understand it because I was in the board of uh, undergraduate studies, things are done at the last hour or last minute. And then the connection between parts of the, of the paper are not uh, uh, clear. So if you see in the papers that you are reviewing that it is just a collection of randomly thrown in figures and uh, equations and sentences, just uh, suggest uh, author to improve. So it should be a clear logic uh, that one thing falls from, from each other. There should be some growing idea. Um, first, Some papers do not have conclusions at all. Make sure that you uh, identify if whatever you are reviewing doesn't have conclusions and request it from, from the author. So make sure uh, the conclusions are there, they summarize challenges. Uh, they, everything that is written in conclusions is supported by data in, in the paper. Is there any new knowledge? And the best thing that a reviewer can write and to help editor to accept the paper. Here. Like, uh, I have a positive feeling of be, being jealous. Why I didn't this? I, why I didn't do this project? It is so exciting science that I want to do it myself. There are so uh, interesting things that I read from here that I really like. So I learned something new from here, and uh, it is I will use it in my practice. If you feel saying this so if you don't it is fine it is uh, it is it is a rare uh, statement and uh, something that inspires to do the same uh, future directions of research is optional but sometimes possible and uh, other benefits to general public like if general public understands that you design new drug or new source of energy that will save the world. It's fine to mention. And uh, results section is uh, often just a subsequent reference to figures. If uh, it is, it goes this way, you may mention it, but please add more, more discussion, more uh, explanation of results. Uh, our is the results and discussion section is readable? Can one read it by closing eyes and not looking onto figures? Is it a uh, self contained story? Um, by reading results, do, does reader see some elementary mechanisms that are playing a role on the, the science that you are observing? And then um, sometimes there is a lock insufficient amount of figures and uh, tables. And sometimes there are too many. So if you see either uh, the, the work you are reviewing deviating in either too few or too many evidences, just make a suggestion to reviewer. And also sometimes it would be really helpful if a uh, reviewer does see that some pieces of some logical sections like figures or text fragments can be swapped. Sometimes it really helps to improve the uh, way how it is percept. Uh, methods are uh, last and least important, but the goal of the methods is that hypothetical reader can reproduce your, your results just by reading your methods. Um, not all details, and please do not quote the uh, lines from the code. Just tell equations. Uh, a smart reader should be able to convert equations into code. Or principles into how to design an apparatus. But um, which equations are solved? Uh, mark if there are some equations that uh, were symbols are not explained. It's a standard thing that uh, young researchers, including myself, were doing in their life. Put equation and then let the reader to guess what the symbols are. So each symbol should be explained. And uh, some, some comments. Uh, that uh, why specific method is chosen, 
uh, can only trust this method. And anything else as a reader, uh, you may want from the author to reproduce the results. Okay, so the procedure goes as, uh, um, so I want to give a comment to everyone, including the editors of this uh, uh, artificial journals, that this year is extremely complicated. Through pandemic, we change our regular practices. Uh, there were some holidays that uh, pushed the beginning of the project a little later, so I need to uh, be generous and ready and not, not too critical. And typically in the past, uh, submissions were arranged as editors were sitting here on big tables and uh, authors were bringing printed copies. Now we do things electronically, which also a new experience, which may speed up or delay. So we, we are coming into new uh, environment. So papers are submitted instead of bringing printed copies by email. Then they need to be merged with uh, forms. So if it is not done before, the reviewers just, just copy paste the form into Google Docs document that you, you will receive in, in the email. And uh, then by uh, consider to deform the review and uh, then later on your review will be communicated back to the authors. So uh, it is a game. Today, each of you play two roles. First, you are author. Then during this meeting, you are reviewer. And then after this meeting, you are author again, right? So um, those who already received the manuscripts for radio, please start doing it. Um, if there are any questions, I will answer. And just explaining my uh, what, what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the back seat and inspect the email and uh, send the uh, late submissions to reviewers. So it, it, it should be done in five minutes and uh, we all should complete our review steps uh, within the assigned uh, class time. Did anyone complete the uh, first paper? Okay, excellent. Do you, do you want us to email it to you? Mm, you can, but uh, I do have access to all the Google Docs. Okay, perfect. You can see as things develop. Perfect. Um, so, in, for everyone uh, in the class, it is about time to start reviewing the second paper uh, if you haven't started. So we do not want to sit over time and uh, in real life 
for viewers, I typically do their assignments uh, on the time pressure and didn't invest much time. Like in the shaking landing airplane after some drink, uh, sleepless night, and then just quickly type. <laughs> Is there anyone who completed everything? Oh, okay, you're so quick. Um,
I was behind you guys. I did, did only one. You're all good. So, um, in a few minutes, the uh, assigned uh, class time will be over. So, uh, here, uh, thank you for your all contributions. And the only thing, uh, there are still two things left. So, here, here is the plan. Um, you will soon get the um, reviews from reviewers. And uh, here is a little surprise, I hope uh, positive, that I was not declared. Your submission due last night was not the last submission. It was the first submission. Now, after uh, you receive the feedback from uh, reviewers and editors of, of journals, whose uh, opinion you be the, the major one, you have, I hope that uh, editors, based on the comments of reviewers, will uh, say that you deserve either publish as is or with minor revisions, or maybe major revisions. So please look through all reviews and implement them to your best understanding to, you, to the papers. And then uh, send the next one uh, after the weekend by Monday morning. If, if you need a few hours more, let, let, let me know. Uh, I'm, uh, let me explain why I need it earlier than later. Um, I want you to be completely free of the course by the time you do presentations. And uh, I'm hiring a little local company that composes your works into a little published uh, book that I want to hand to you during the time of presentations, Either personally or, or electronically as a, as a PDF. And uh, the It, 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 they, they will take some time to produce. But if, if it is not like 6 a.m. Monday, but a, a little few hours later, it is fine. Uh, I will share additional suggestions on presentations during the week, but five minutes shouldn't be hard, right? After, after the papers are done. It's, uh, it's a little easier than, than writing. So, um, be your effort in writing papers and, and uh, grading is uh, you'll be rewarded with points towards your uh, final grade. So you, it's not just a waste of time for, for exercise. And uh, wishing you success in uh, your other exams. Uh, let me know if I can be of any assistance during the uh, your additional efforts of completing the papers and preparing the, the presentations. Also, if any of you like uh, research activity like, like that, let me know if there are additional opportunities for like uh, uh, credit and, and uh, payment. So the uh, everything except last presentations is done. Uh, have a nice weekend and successful exam time. Thank you to uh, editors, Dr. Khan and Kern, uh, and everyone will get the feedbacks, uh, feedback uh, soon. So the meeting is done. Thank you. Thank you.